Let's investigate linear functions. Earlier this year, we learned many things about linear relationships. We know that the graph of a linear relationship can give us a lot of information. In the first graph, the rate is increasing. In the second graph, the rate is decreasing. And in the third graph, the rate is staying the same. The first graph has an initial value or starts at 0, 0. Since it has the point 0, 0, it is also a proportional relationship. The second graph starts at a value greater than 0. Line B has a faster rate than line A. We know this because line B is steeper than line A. Every diagonal and horizontal line is a function. Each input value is assigned to exactly one output value. We also learned earlier this year that we can use an equation to represent a linear relationship. A linear function can be represented using the same equation, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope or the rate of change, and b is the y-intercept or the starting value. When rate is increasing, the slope is positive. If the rate is decreasing, the slope is negative. The y-intercept is the initial or starting amount. If something starts at zero, the b does not show in the equation. We can use a linear equation to model real life constant rate. Take a moment to pause your video. Read each problem carefully. Review and reflect on the connection between words and the connection to the equations. In the real world, data points do not always make an exact line. From a previous lesson, this graph shows temperature in degrees Fahrenheit as a function of the time of day. Notice that the data points do not make a straight line on their own, but if we draw a straight line following the pattern of the points, the data points lie very close and sometimes even on the blue line. When data points follow closely to the pattern of a line, we can use a linear model to represent the data. Here is another graph from a previous lesson. If we look at small sections of the data, there appears to be periods of time when the data is linear. But if a single line is drawn to show the pattern of the data from 1990 until 2014, the model is not as good, even though it shows us that the amount of garbage is in general increasing over time. Using a linear model helps us to make predictions when data is not available. From the graph, what would your prediction be for the amount of garbage in 2020? more or less than in 2010. Can you determine whether a function is increasing or decreasing based on its rate of change? Can you explain how the graph of a linear function relates to its rate of change and initial value? And finally, can you decide when a linear function is a good model for data and when it is not? Go through these slides again if you need more help.